There are some tests that every clinician can do as they're trying to determine if someone has sepsis. The first is a complete blood count or a complete blood panel. In addition, you're going to look at a complete metabolic panel. You're gonna look at a CBC. You're gonna look at a white count. You're gonna look at lactate, procalcitonin, IL-6. You're also going to look at an early sepsis indicator. This is a test that Beckman Coulter produces that's based on the monocyte distribution width or MDW. It is easy to run because it's run in parallel to a CBC or a complete blood count. The early sepsis indicator is like a check engine light. It's that indicator that comes on early to tell you something might be wrong. Almost every patient coming into the ER gets a complete blood count or CBC run. Having that early check engine light is essential as you're trying to quickly identify someone who is septic. They go so quickly into being so incredibly ill that it's a challenge to save them. So when we have a marker that can tell us perhaps an early sepsis indicator, that's really useful to us as we're managing patients. 49 million people worldwide are diagnosed with sepsis every year. Of that 49 million, 20% will die. Sepsis is serious.